today I'm going to do um, something else that I take to, like to do, and that's uh, prop making, special effects, cosplay. Um, I'm planning to make a custom half mask holder where I can put my cotton and fabric reusable face masks in now we're in the COVID pandemic. And I've wanted to do this for a while, I just never really had the energy or time to do it. So now I've got that. Um, I will show you what I'm using. First I will start with a half mask face cast and I hope to capture this part of my face. Um, and I will show you how I'll do that. I'm not saying that this will be a success but at least I'm going to try and show you the process. So here I've got some alginate. This is not enough, I've got more. And I need to mix that with um, water. It's for smearing consistency, it's um, equal, so one to one, which means one part alginate is one part water. Um, however, I personally quite prefer to, um, especially with alginate and gypsum, to just go by feel because that tends to give me better results than following the directions on the uh, paper. I don't know why that is, it just does and I'll just fucking stab myself. Stab myself. It's bleeding. That's my life, I always stab myself, this is what happens. So I've put in the alginate and um, I try to kind of get all the big blocks out. I have put a plaster on my thumb because it just wouldn't stop bleeding and I don't want the alginate to um, coagulate with the blood because that's what it will do when it gets in, com um, in contact with fluids. Um, so I thought that would potentially be a bit of a risk. So I'm just kind of going through it a bit like how you would deal with flour because it's kind of a flour-like consistency. Um, and I will mix this with water slowly, but also quite, um, how do you say that, determinately, because it has a very, very um, fast setting speed. It's not going to be like silicon or anything else where it's just going to be sticky forever. This is going to be cold and sticky and it will stay um, wet for maybe a few minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna mix this now and try and be good about that and get everything in. I don't have much time for this, so I have to do this quite decently, quite quickly. So what I'm doing now is I can do that without covering my face in Vaseline because I don't have facial hair. If you are a man and you want to do this uh, and you have facial hair, you're going to have to drown your face in Vaseline or just shave, that would it might be easier. See, the thing about it is, is that if you want to make... Um, stuff like what I'm talking about, then you will want to um, have your face clean shaven, especially because face masks don't tend to work if you've got facial hair. Okay, so I've got a decent consistency now. I need to add a little bit more, but not too much. Go. It should be thick enough to stick to my face because it sticks to my fingers. And then I'm going to keep my mouth shut from now on.
works out pretty well. I'm quite happy with that. I will now plug these nose nostril holes and I will make a shell so it can hold its shape while we put it with plaster. So now I am using plaster bandaging to make it keep its shape a little bit. And then I will use actual plaster to strengthen that even more. So I have now um, added the plaster shell on top. Um, it's not the perfect shell just yet. Um, I've got some more work to do on that, but it will hold its shape. And um, my last step is to make sure that I've got a balancing part on top so that when I turn it round and pour it with plaster that it will um, be level and that I can have a nice flat surface to work on, uh, to put it on. So I have made a proper shell. It has a uh, nub here in which it can stand and I can just pour, um, what's it called, gypsum in whenever I'm ready. Um, I've filled up the nostrils and I'm going to just tear this off a little because it's not really important. Um, but I'm going to just fill this up, see how far I can get. So I'm going to demold this. It's um, still kind of warm. Would you look at that? That's. I'm just gonna. As you could have seen, that was what I've done today. You can see I'm covered top to toe. So um, when you do this kind of stuff, always wear old clothes because your new clothes will get dirty and it's just... I wore this one because I already used it in the past for prop work and it was already torn and dirty and yeah, so I just kind of put old clothes on. Um, 
thankfully gypsum powder can mostly be washed out but alginate like when it gets really dry it just kind of like sticks so it's not that's not going to go out easily so the end result is this part of my face I'm quite happy with how that came out I've got a decently workable uh, surface where I can work on and um, yeah I'll let this dry as I said and then I will start working on it Thanks for watching.